my online journey of discovery really has been fascinating here in Nairobi, Kenya. Here's a recap. My CNN Inside Africa experiment connected me with locals. All of them told me of a place of innovation and entrepreneurship called iHub. I used social media to find out how to get there. Once I arrived, I met its director, a man whose Twitter handle is at itosh. He told me they groom a lot of young talent, some of whom end up at Google. Well, I've connected with Google Africa and they've agreed to have their man in charge spend some time with me. He works in this building and it really is the culmination of this adventure. So let's meet him. Hey, how are you? I'm Errol with CNN. I'm here to see the man in charge, Joe. Oh, hey, Errol. I'm okay, here. here you are. How are you? Very well. Welcome. Pleasure Welcome to, to meet you. Great. Thank uh, can, you. I, can I get a bit of a tour? Can you show me around? Yeah, yeah. Come this okay. way. Come this way. Yeah. I see you've got the right channel on the television. Yes, of course. We do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, come through. As we walk through the halls here, um, I have to note that you've been called the first sub Saharan African Google employee. Is right. that accurate? And what does that mean to you? That's correct. Um, so I had the privilege of bringing Google to Kenya and uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. Now we are in about seven countries. So we've expanded and grown. So I've seen the number of Googlers grow. So it's good. I'm proud of it. And how have you seen the use of the web in Sub-Saharan Africa change just in the amount of time you've been here for five years? So it's actually changed significantly. So we started off you know, with uh, very, very poor connections in terms of just usage of the internet. Whereas today, there's a lot of usage of uh, social, Facebook, YouTube, you know, high bandwidth intensive applications. And that's growing a lot. The interest in terms of even developing applications coming out of Africa is, is great. Mm. So a lot is happening. It's growing faster than we actually expected. Yeah, so this is where we have uh, our staff. We've got uh, people working on very many different products, whether it is uh, localizing the languages, you know, so put Gmail, Chrome onto different languages, um, putting maps, you know, uh, information about Google, information about Kenya for, for people to see. So you can use their mobile phones, they can use all manner of things on the internet. Google Maps, I mean, are so widely used around the world, but yeah. the way that it's being used in Kenya is a bit different. Talk to me about a partnership you've had with the government. Yeah, so, so maps, when we started, you know, we had, I think, two roads mapped in Nairobi before we opened an office here. Two roads. Two roads. I mean, now we've got so much detail, points of interest and so on. So one of the things that uh, the government did when there was the, you know, global economic crisis, there mm. was an issue in Kenya. And so what we did, we started an economic stimulus program for the country. And they wanted to prove to the citizens that, look, we're building a school, we're building an office. So using maps, they're able to take pictures, put those on maps, and citizens can go and look at what is happening. So it's part of the economic stimulus program. So it's a website. check and balance using the internet. People can check, look at their local school via the web to see if the money is being spent to, to build it and maintain it. That's correct. This is a, an office full of brainiacs, but I have to see the one thing to say the one thing standing out to me is this behind you. Oh, right. This yes. foosball table, <laughs> every tech place I go, <laughs> it's in the middle. Yes. So I'm going to challenge you, okay? If right. this is, is, is going to be placed so prominently in the room, do you think uh, you could take me on in a game of foosball? Of course. I, I but do definitely. you think you can win, Joe? I will win. Not I can, I will win. Really? Yes, I will You're win. that confident. <laughs> okay, we'll wait, we'll wait and do that in a moment. Let's take a look around and see what everyone's up to. Right, cool. How many employees do you have and where are they from? So, so we have employees from all over, um, all over Africa, Kenya as well. So, so it's a whole mix of people and all of them in different functions. For instance, uh, Sally here is our lang Swahili language specialist. Hello. So working in the language uh, area, localizing some of the products that we have. So you so want to localize the product, meaning put it into a local language, translate it so that people in that part of Kenya can use it just like everyone else does. That's correct. And they can also contribute in their language. So, so it adds, so, so Google becomes part of everyday life for them as well. So that's what we're doing, not something foreign. And how about back here? Back here we have uh, Bob. Hey guys. Actually, <laughs> Bob, <laughs> as you can see, is a developer. So he spends a lot of time developing. Very He's nice. usually based actually at the iHub. So Fridays okay. he comes and joins the team here. So, yeah. so the iHub has been crucial for getting you the kind of staff you need in getting them to the proper point of training and expertise. That is correct. And, and also the developers that are there now in the market. So some of the things we've done with the iHub, we've now set up um, a, a usability lab 
So when they develop an application, users can go there, test the application and be able to say, hey, this is uh, working or it's not working. This is how a typical Kenyan would use it. This is how the youth would use it. It's interesting. We're seeing a lot of development in uh, in the iHub, and I think we need many more of those uh, yeah. even on the continent. I mean, the potential there, if there were more iHubs, is, you know... It's great, and, and iHub needs to expand. Now, I want to talk more about you. You're the top man here. This is Google. I'm right. sure you have a cool corner office. I have an office, yeah. <laughs> can we see <laughs> I it? Do, I do. Yes, yes, Let's take can. a look. Okay, cool. Come this way. Cool, so welcome. Welcome to the yes, office. Yes, I knew it. And it's <laughs> <laughs> typical Google fashion, nice, bright, colorful. We have a great view of uh, Nairobi here. That's correct. Yeah. So when mm. you got your post five years ago, how, what was your sense of, of how important it is, not just for you personally, but for sub-Saharan Africa to have real representation within Google? So, so first, if you look at the market cap of Google and you look at most of the countries, the GDPs, Google is, is significant. So, so just knowing that Google has paid attention to Africa, paid attention to Nairobi, that was really important. So I was very excited to be part of that and, and glad that uh, we've been able to continue this, you know, yeah. it's been over five years now. But there are some major challenges with what Google is doing. Some say Google's moving too fast. It's having such a f an imprint in so many African countries without regulation or, or, or being monitored by African Union or other government entities. Do you think that's a valid criticism? No, I don't think that's valid in terms of, first of all, moving too fast, that is not correct. I think we could move even faster. The demand for connectivity, demand for services in Africa for information is very high, but we don't have that information. Saying we're not regulated, we are very regulated in terms of, you know, the government is very aware of any, in, any of the things that we're doing, how we set up, we are very model citizen, we work closely with the, w with the partners in the markets. So I would say, yes, there is growth, and, and Google is growing, but I think we should, we should be growing even more because mm -hmm. the opportunity is even larger right now in Africa. You're as confident about the internet in Africa as you are about your foosball skills. That is correct, yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, I've, I've questioned one of them, <laughs> I'm right. now gonna question the other. Right. Shall we see how you do? Yes, let's go. Let's Against go. a novice <laughs> like me. And I'll get a team to make sure they cheer me on. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. I, I've, I've got these guys. Uh, let's do it, let's do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks. It's been a fantastic experience seeing how plugged in Nairobi and Kenya is to the web. I've taken some pictures and written about what I've been up to. You can see all of that at cnn.com slash inside Africa. Now, Joe, yes. you and I go head to head here. What are we doing this for? Winner gets what? Wow. Uh, yes, well, let's say this. Whoever <laughs> will, we'll switch jobs for a week. No, okay. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, why not? Now, are you, you're on, I'm sure you're on social networks. Are you on Twitter? Yes, I am. So whoever wins must, no, whoever loses, I guess, has to tweet their followers to follow the other person, because I'm sure you've got way more followers than I do. Well, I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> don't know about that. OK. But do you agree? Yes? I agree. OK. Yeah. Why Let's not? go. There we go. Okay, so I'm yep. the yellow team here. Yeah, We're yeah. coming oh, all the way, almost oh, all the oh. way here. And <laughs> Samurai, no fucking and. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. And oh, for a second. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, thank you. So I'm going to get all those followers. Yay! <laughs> yeah, Excellent. good luck with those five followers. <laughs> good luck. Thanks very much. It's thank been a you pleasure. very much. It's been a pleasure, guys. Great.